President Trump is very much of a go big or go home kind of guy. Or if you prefer the more slang you could say that he's got no chill. North Korea is learning that lesson the hard way since their petulant toddler of a leader in a bad suit decided to get into a turf war with the commander-in-chief of the free world. By the way, the turf they're in a war over is everything between here and there, which is a pretty good piece of property, and chances are that we all live on some piece of it. There are people who were concerned that the president might not have the diplomacy needed to be the president of the United States, and just how diplomatic he is remains to be seen. So far he's been all stick and no carrot, but it seems to have been working okay for him and us. To that end, when the irritable and childlike Kim Jong-un refused to work with any of the international agencies trying to keep the world safe from just such people as himself, President Trump decided to give him an up-close and personal show of what a real Navy looks like and how the big boys move their nukes around. This show of force isn't all for show, the president has made it clear that he'll go to whatever means necessary to keep the country and the world, safe. The USS Michigan a guided missile submarine arrived in South Korea for what a U.S. defense official described as a show of force amid tensions between the U.S. and North Korea. The U.S. Navy sub arrived in the port city of Busan, South Korea, on the same day that North Korea celebrates the 85th anniversary of the founding of the Korean People's Army. A statement from U.S. Naval Forces Korea called the sub's visit routine and said it was a chance to highlight the alliance between the U.S. and South Korean navies. While the USS Michigan is not expected to take part in the joint exercises, its presence in the region is meant to send a strong message to Pyongyang. U.S. President Donald Trump told Fox Business Network's Maria Barty Romo earlier this month that the U.S. was sending an armada with submarines to the region. We are sending an armada. Very powerful. Trump told Barty Romo. We have submarines. Very powerful. Far more powerful than the aircraft carrier. That I can tell you. Analysts at the time suspected Trump might be referring to Ohio-class subs like the Michigan. Armed with tactical missiles and equipped with superior communications capabilities, the Michigan is one of four U.S. Navy subs that began service as a ballistic missile submarine, loaded with nuclear missiles as part of the U.S. strategic nuclear deterrent. The 560-foot-long Michigan is one of four converted Ohio-class subs, joining the USS Ohio, USS Florida, and USS Georgia. The Michigan's visit to Busan comes after North Korea on Sunday threatened to sink the American aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson, which is beginning joint drills with two Japanese destroyers in the western Pacific Ocean. The Vinson will be joined by the Ashigara and Samidare destroyers in tactical training drills near the Philippines the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force said. North Korea's state-run newspaper Rodong Sinmun said in an editorial the country is ready to illustrate its military force by sinking a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier with a single strike. The North Korean state newspaper claimed to have weaponry that can reach continental U.S. and Asia-Pacific region and the absolute weapon, or a nuclear hydrogen bomb. CNN cannot independently verify the newspaper's claims. I'm sorry if you're a liberal and the president doesn't look the way you want him to look, or sound the way you want him to sound. I'm sorry for you if you're so caught up in how a person makes you feel that you're incapable of seeing the good that he can possibly do for future, or even current, generations. But I'm not sorry that Donald J. Trump is the president, and I'm not sorry that he's got enough backbone to know that this is one dictator that he can't back down from. So maybe his personality isn't one that knows how to tread softly but it is one that you'd want to have your back in a fight. I'm just glad that unlike our former leader, this president has actually got America's back. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.